Are you tired of seeing tons of gray hair around the hairline of your face? Or you look back at old pictures of when you were younger and you miss that youthful brightness around your face? Face framing highlights is exactly what you need and I wanna show you how to do it right now. If you follow any hair trends whatsoever, you notice a lot of times things get new names almost seasonally or every couple decades. So I like to call these face framing highlights. You may see money piece. You might hear it called sun kissed around the face or halo or baby lights. There's tons of different ways you can call it, but I just like kind of the front pieces to be just a tiny bit lighter for my face framing highlights. Let's talk a little bit about who would want to do this. If you enjoy having darker hair up on top and having a lot of dimension, but when you were younger, you were more of a dirty blonde or you had a little bit lighter hair and gradually it got darker with age, this is perfect to bring brightness to your face and to kind of just add some depth into your hair. But without the commitment, you don't really have to do anything in the back. It just lightens it up around the front of your face. And naturally, if you look at your hair, most people have lighter hair around the face. Let's talk a little bit about gray hair. Oh man, we all just love it. Gray hair, typically you start noticing it around your temples or kind of the front part of your face. Doing face framing highlights, it's really gonna help balance your face off, blend in those gray hairs that you're starting to see, but you don't wanna commit to coloring your hair. So it's super great for that. Also, anybody who wants to dabble a tiny bit into highlights, but you're nervous and you don't know what it's gonna look like, face framing highlights, it's perfect. So, you guys ready to get mixing? I love my Paul Mitchell Synchro Lift. This is what I'm gonna use on my hair. Then I'm also going to use 20 and 30 volume. It all depends on kind of your hair type, how much you wanna lift. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment box below. And I will also link everything I'm using on my hair in the description box. So let's get to mixing. Since I'm not doing a ton of highlights, we are going to do roughly a quarter of a scoop for the 20 volume and same with the 30 volume. I always like to mix my bleach so it's a little bit thicker so that way it's not super runny and doesn't slip off my foil. So just think of cake batter. So this is a consistency you want. It's not gonna fall completely off your brush, but it's not too sticky for when you are putting it on your foils. Now we're gonna talk about sectioning. As I told you before, these are face framing highlights, so you're not gonna do a whole lot of highlight in this back section. I do like to do my parting very close to where I part my hair naturally. So if you are going to part your hair in the middle, do it down the middle and you are going to do your foils a completely different way. I part always kind of on this right side, so that's what we're gonna do. But again, this is face framing, so we are going to take these foils not super far back, just really kind of close to my ear section, and then all this is going to be pulled away and not foiled. So do that on both sides. So as you can see, there is my sectioning. Now let's get it into highlighting. So depending on how thick you want the front face framing highlight, some people like money pieces, which is a thicker kind of foil technique. Me personally, I like it super blended. I don't like to see kind of regrowth, so I'm gonna do more of a baby light in my face frame. And I do like to start kind of around the front part of my hair. If you can see, all this hair in this front section kind of grows all in the same direction. But then here with my hairline, you are seeing that it is growing kind of more at a diagonal. 
So we are going to split up these two sections when we're foiling. If I foil this exactly the same way as this front section, it's not going to look correctly when I'm pulling my hair back and I want it very blended. So let's start with this front piece. We are going to take these sections right off my hairline following the way my hair is growing. Again, like I said, I'm doing more baby light. So we are gonna take this hair and we're gonna make sure we can see through it. As you can see, you can see through the section. And we are going to foil very small sections, a very fine weave on this front piece. So that means our stitching or the foiling technique is just going to be super, super fine and thin, not super thick whatsoever. So that way I'm not getting tiger stripes with my face framing highlight. Take our foil, fold it over, and to get it super close, you're gonna lift that section that you're going to be foiling straight up. And we are going to lay this right on my scalp and then pull that hair over so you have a very tight foil on your hairline. And we're gonna take our 20 volume and we are just going to lightly paint it on that section. As you can see, I already have blonde ends. So we are going to just kind of feather this into the rest of the blonde that I already have. You do not wanna take it all the way down into those ends or else it will damage your ends. Pull that hair over and we are just going to package this up really nicely. And then I'm gonna do something a little bit different. We are going to flip this foil over. The reason why is I want all this hair kind of around my face to be super, super blended. So I'm going to take just a very, very thin section of that hair that I left out, like very thin. You're barely gonna have any hair kind of left over in this front section and we are going to clip that back. As you can see, this is super, super thin and we are going to do another foil. Super tiny, still doing a baby weave and we are going to pull that hair out and foil this section as well. Just like that. And then we are just gonna kind of continue that all the way back into this section. Again, keeping my part in there and just foiling back. The further I get back into this section, kind of the less foils I'm gonna do. So then I mimic how my hair naturally is. As you guys saw, I have really kind of dark roots in this very back. So I don't wanna do too light of baby lights in the front so I don't get a money piece, but I definitely want it to still blend really well. So we're gonna take this other section and do just a little tiny baby light in it. Still keeping the stitching kind of close together, but not taking too thick of chunks. Keeping that foil super close to my scalp and just painting it on, making sure I'm not getting those really blonde pieces and just feathering it into the rest. And Package her up. And I'm just gonna continue this, probably do roughly about four foils on this left side, maybe five, and follow that same pattern up. Now is the perfect time. If you haven't done so yet, hit that red subscribe button. I like to see all my new subscribers. I love engaging with you guys. I try to always com comment back if you leave me a comment or if you have any questions. So please, if you haven't done so yet, Subscribing really does kind of help push these videos out to people who need to see hair how-tos. Okay, so if you can see, I have a very thick section right here, so I am going to just pull some of that hair out so we don't have too thick of a section and it'll be a little bit more blended. Now we're gonna move on to this other side, still following kind of the pattern of the way my hair is growing. So this section is gonna be a tiny bit smaller than my left side. So we are continuing with this foiling technique that we did on the other side. And since this one is super close to my face, we are going to do that double highlight really close 
to the hairline. So get this foil super tight on your scalp and then just feather it in. And then we are going to flip this foil up like we did on the right side. And then taking that super small sectioning and just getting this hair kind of pulled up out of the way. So then we have a super soft baby light in the very front of your section where you do want to see those super light pieces. And you can see even naturally, my hair is a lot lighter in this front section. You can definitely see like my blondes, but when I was younger, I had dirty blonde hair. So my hair was so much lighter. And if you see any videos of Paisley, my daughter, she does sometimes help me with creating some of my content. Naturally, she has super blonde hair kind of around the front. And I always tell her, girlfriend, people pay a lot of money to have those lighter pieces around the front. And honestly, this is exactly kind of mimics her hairline of what I'm doing right now. And same with people who start getting gray hair. I have clients who constantly tell me like, oh my gosh, like all my gray hair is popping up at my temples. And that is kind of what you can mimic with baby lights or face framing highlights of just kind of taking those gray hairs and lightening them so they almost look more blonde than gray. It really kind of blends in the gray hair so you don't really see it. If you're liking what you see, do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. I love to see when you guys like these new videos I'm putting out and I really greatly appreciate it. So then, since this is kind of my thinner side from where I part, I'm not gonna have as many foils. I'll probably only have three on this side. So just know, even if it seems kind of uneven, that's why you do your sectioning and make sure it's even all the way around. I just don't have as much hair on this side since I part the other way. So do not worry if it's not the same amount of foils. Okay, now we're gonna get into those side pieces. So you can kind of fold that up out of the way. You can also clip this hair up out of the way so you can get to the sides really close to your ear. Same thing as you did on this other stuff. We are gonna do just kind of a very tiny, thin section and just weave it. My hair is a lot thinner on this side, so I will only do one foil and I just make sure it's just super, super fine. So it just blends really, really well. And whenever you pull your hair back, you're not gonna see stripes, but you are gonna see lightness. It almost is kind of seamless and you don't really see where those highlights begin and end. And this will be the last foil on this side because like I said, my hair is very, very fine and I don't like it to be super light where it's fine because obviously those hairs are a little bit more delicate and they can damage super easily. So I just like to kind of embrace my natural color and so I don't do as many blonde pieces on the sides. Okay, now let's move to this left side and we, were, we are almost done with the foiling. Super easy, doesn't take a whole lot of time. And honestly, it's fairly dramatic when it comes to kind of the look of it. You will notice a huge difference of it brightening up your face. Alrighty, so I am all foiled. I'm gonna let it sit and process probably about 10 to 15 minutes. The hair around your face, it does lighten fairly quickly because that hair is a little bit finer. Shampoo, tone, I do have a toning video, so if you wanna watch that, click the link up there, and then I will come back to show you the results. I can't wait. We are back. I dried the front of my hair, and I wanted to show you how it mimics kind of a money piece. So you can see kind of those bright foils, but I still am pretty dark in the back. And then let's kind of pull this hair back. So I have all those bright highlights all kind of around my hairline. When I pull my hair back, you can see that it's super well blended. Looks just kind of natural, like the sun did it. 
And if, which I do, have kind of gray hair in here, it really blends in all of those kind of gray hairs. And it makes me super bright in the very front. You can still kind of see, even if I parted it down the middle, which I hardly ever do, it's just face framing highlights super easy keeps things youthful kind of brighter around your face without the commitment of highlighting or doing anything to the back part of your head i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you have any questions about anything i did on my hair please do not hesitate to leave those down in the comment box below and as always we will see you next time bye, -bye.